so here calculate amount and component interest on some amount 2 years but uh, first year is 10% rate of interest and second year is 12% rate of interest ok like this problem so we will see and this uh, second one more sum when you repay some amount first year and second year also you will see like this problems so first of all we will do this here question is uh, calculate amount and component interest for two years but rate of interest is changed for first year and second year separately so how is the change we should take the value according to that similarly you take the problem same principal for the first year is the same invested amount so principal was first, first year principal for first year it is same that is rupees 7500 so 7500 now rate of interest is first year is 10 percent right so we can find out the interest for first year interest for first year so principally 7500 only one year but rate of interest is 10 percent here so 10 by 100 if it is 12 we will take next year 12 by 100 now it's a 10 percent 10 percent 10 by 100 the cancellations is zeros 75 into 10 750 rupees is the interest for first year that's it now amount at the end of the first year therefore the amount at end of the first year there is a principal is 7500 plus 750 is interest now this total amount is end of the first year that's 8250 if you add this code okay now the rate of interest is changing is changed for second year that is 12 percent we will take the same now what are amount at the end of the first year that become principal for the second year right so principal first second year is the amount at the end of the first year that is 8250 then we need to find out the interest but interest for second year is 12 percent interest rate so 8250 for second year one year and interest rate is 12 percent so 12 by 100 you can calculate this 0 0 you can cancel the 5 table 5 2 z 10 and the 5 3 2 32 5 6 30 25 again 2 and 2 6 165 into 6 so this is a interest that is 6 5 7, 30 3 3 6 9 9 so 990 rupees is interest for second year now amount at end of the second year is therefore amount at end of second year that is uh, principal for second year is 8250 plus interest is 990 okay, this amount if you add you get the total that is if you add 0 429 that is 9240 right this is the amount at the end of the second year so if you want to compound interest for two years the total final amount minus original principal will take therefore compound interest compound interest for two years even the rate of his interest is changed you can take account of that now 9240 is final amount the original principal is 7500 is given so if you subtract this both that is calculate 0 and 7, 4, 0, 1740. So this is the interest and amount is 9240 end of the second year, right? Just only thing is whenever the rate of interest is changed, we can take account to that. 
so here is a 10%, 10 percent 10 by 100 is 12 percent we take 12 rest of the thing is same like previous ones now if you see this question it's important and when they paid amount some repays so to uh, calculate we'll see mr dubey borrows uh, 1 lakh from state bank of india at 11 percent per annum so rate of interest is 11 percent compounded annually but he repays some amount at the end of the first year and some other amount at the end of the second year is repaid find the amount outstanding against him at the beginning of the third year okay. we'll start the problem first of all the principal for first year so whatever he repays he will subtract from the totals that only is principal for the first year so that is given rupees 1 lakh yes so this amount and interest for the first year so the rate of interest is 11 percent so first you find out interest first year is yeah so one more zero one lakh one year rate of interest is 11 percent so by 100 so we cancel two zeros 1000 into 11 11,000 okay, 11,000 is the interest for the first year now amount at the end of the first year is therefore amount at end of first year is the principal plus interest so 1 lakh plus 11,000 that means 1 lakh 11,000 so this is the amount now according to the problem he repayment at end of the first year so from this 1 lakh 11,000 he paid here 41,000 41,000 for the first year so that should be removed because for the next year a principal in a taking okay repayment at end of the first year is 41,000 repayment at end of first year is rupees 41,000 right so net amount at end of the first year now is already repaid so net amount at end of first year so total amount is 1 lakh 11,000 from this 41,000 will subtract 1 lakh 11,000 minus 41,000 is 70,000. Now 70,000 only is a net amount in the end of the first year. Now this will become the principal for second year. Okay, whatever the net amount is balanced, that should be become as the principal for the next year. That means principal for second year is the net amount which is balanced. That is rupees. 70,000 right now for this you'll find out the interest for second year now so interest interest is same for second year 11 percent per annum there is 70,000 into for second year one year 11 by 100 right just do cancellations of this 0 0 cancel 700 into 11 11 7700 zero, zero, 7, now amount at, at the end of second year therefore after interest immediately find out amount amount at end of second year is uh, principal for second year is 70,000 from this we should add the interest is 7700 Okay, 70,000 plus 7,700 is same, that uh, 77,700. 
कि 7000 प्लस 7700 सेव कि 7700 now from this he repeats uh, 47,000 for second year also. You see the question. Some amount the repayment at the end of the second year that is 47,000 in this form. So that is a repayment at the end of the second year. So repayment is at end of second year is he prepaid uh, 47,000. When the repayment has done, then you can find out the remaining amount. So outstanding. Amount. At end of. At the end of the second year, I think, but beginning of the third year. So in stuff at the end of uh, second year. Okay, that means we will take the beginning of the third year. So instead of this, at amount at the end of the second year we got in this repayment as done. Then outstanding amount at the end of the beginning of, of the third year. So that is uh, total amount of repayment as done. That means 77,700 minus he paid 47,000. Then the rest of amount is 30,700. Okay. This is the balance. This is outstanding amount you need to pay. Okay. So which is the balance is pending in the State Bank of India. right? So amount principal for second year and interest that is the amount at the end of the second year. From this, he already paid. The repayment has done for second year this amount. If you subtract from total at the end of the second year, the outstanding amount at the beginning of the third year. That is 30,700. 30, they ask him only find the amount outstanding against him at the beginning of the third year. That's it. So, what are the, how much which year they asked till that year? You should continue this process. Fine. And when this is only for compounded annually type portions now it's compounded half yearly the related problems also without using formula so i'll explain now 